Hi, welcome to this week's blog. Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to make a palm tree. Um, it's supposed to be summer, I'm um, not quite sure looking outside, um, but I uh, thought we'd make this cake as part of the, the tutorial this week and then as part of the blog just a little bit of what we've been doing and how to make the, the palm tree. Uh, so the cake here is made from a, a 10 inch round, so a 9 inch round chocolate cake. It's carved into the hill scene. Uh, it's got lovely palm trees uh, with flower paste leaves. Uh, it's got the, the sand uh, made from the sugar with the, the model, uh, etc. on there. So it's a really nice summery cake. Uh, really good if someone's maybe having a, a 21st or a 30th uh, or 40th uh, birthday abroad and uh, there's a nice way to celebrate it. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you the, the way that I, I was first taught how to make palm trees and that's using some more Blue Peter style. So what I have here is uh, some really thi thin card um, just so it's got a little bit of strength to it. And I get a lily cutter uh, and I just place the lily cutter on the paper uh, to get the three, the four spokes. Uh, and then cut them out, uh, which then gives us this part here. And then you can see here what I've done uh, with the plain bit here. I just get scissors and I want to just cut all the way down just to get that nice leaf effect. Like that. Okay, once we've got that, we then want to bend the leaf. Just use your finger just to sort of bend the leaf round. You can sort of bend it up as well. There we go. Okay, and then if you want, you can just try and open up some of the little cut edge bit just to sort of give it a bit more life. And then of course if you want, you could dust it with some um, sugar flare dusts um, just to sort of give it more depth. Now once I've got to that stage, uh, you can see here I've got one that I've made already. Just pop it on the, the sponge and get a pin tool and just make a series of little small holes just to make it easier for the wire to get through there without damaging the petal. Okay, now I've got uh, two 20 gauge wires taped together with brown florist tape uh, and I just want to just pop that through the, and there we go and that's me got the hole made so that's perfect um, so what we want to do is put them to one side and then we want to get some brown sugar paste uh, to make the trunk there we go so you just want to soften it up and then roll it into a sausage. Okay, once it's in the sausage, just grab a knife and you just want to cut a series of little sausages. And then if you get the wire, and all you want to do is just wet the wire. That's good. And then we just want to feed them all the way down. Not all the way down actually, sorry, just about there because we need a bit that's going to stick into the cake. And you can see straight away we've got that nice effect. Now you can actually use, um, I used to do it with Rolos, um, so use Rolos and stick them on, so at least it's quite yummy as well. Okay, there we are. So you can see there we've got the, the, the trunk uh, for the tree. Uh, so that looks good. And then what we want to do is then grab the, the paper and then just want to pin that on top. Oops. There we go. And then to hide the wee pin coming out the top, just the smallest little bit of sugar paste. Just to sort of take the, the white mark away. There we go. And there we go, so one very, very um, tropical uh, palm tree. Uh, so easy to make, so effective, uh, and you can see there just next to the cake, it really just really works a treat. And as I say, you can dust the, the leaves just to bring a bit more colour into it and, and to bring it to life. Um, and even for doing garden scenes um, or even doing jungle scenes with like giraffes and things, just really good to have these sort of around just for a different look. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed that little blog and, uh, and maybe enjoy going over to have a look at the, the, the tutorial this week as well. Thanks very much.